Good evening, everyone. Fleetwood Jay here. Obviously, we're back on the hobby show tonight instead of the Root Master show. The Root Master show will be back next week on 114. We're just taking a week's break because obviously, where the issues are uh, every two weeks at the moment, we don't want to use all the issues up and then have nothing to do. So, we thought we'd have a hobby show this week and show off some bits and pieces and that. We was hoping to have a few more guests, but uh, Mark's mods and Judy, the, Judy's not very well at the moment, so Mark's had to sit out tonight, and so is Judy, so do apologise. Horlix will be back next week. He's having computer problems as well, so that's one's out. I'm not too sure if Chris Davies is joining us tonight or not, so it's just basically... Uh, the three of us, we've got, I've got Adrian and Dave, and I've got a special guest, uh, Stephen Owen. So at the end of the day, I'll introduce you all. What we're going to do is basically where the format tonight is, uh, Stephen's going to show us his buses or what he wants to show us. Dave's going to show a very special project of his. Adrian's going to do a preview of a build. I think he's going to build tomorrow on his channel. And at the end of this, I've got one of the Kiwi boxes down here, and I might just do a few steps of that to give you an idea of what they're like, these engineering projects. So um, I need a number, you guys. One to three. Pick a number. So Two. let me know. Two. <laughs> Two. Okay. I'll let you know where it is at the end, if you know what I mean. So, um, right. Let's have a look at the uh, chat. We've got P40F20. Hi, everyone. And Dave Bassett. Good evening, all. So, hope Sparkle, um, Pepsi had a nice walk, and thanks for the comment about Sparkles. Yes, she was asleep when you uh, when I was uh, watching you take her for dog walk. So, yes. Yeah, so, as I say, it's a hobby show tonight rather than the Root Master. So, but we're still giving you something to watch on Wednesday nights. You know, even though it's just us few motley crew tonight. But um, yeah, so Mark and Julie will be back. Well, Mark will be back hopefully next week. And Chris, hopefully, be back, and Horlicks will be back next week as well. So, um, yeah. what we was planning to do tonight was Stephen was going to show us some bits and pieces. Judy was going to tell us about diamond painting. Dave was going to do something uh, with, about buses and that. Adrian was going to do a preview of a build, build, and I was going to do something. So, it's going to be a short show tonight. Uh, well, see how long we go with all the bits and pieces and all the banter and the talk we got. So, Right, uh, I'll hand you over to uh, who will say hello. Go on, hello, <laughs> so hello, everybody, and um, thanks for joining us tonight on the hobby show. Uh, and as Fleetwood Jazz just um, and nicely described, uh, obviously, with uh, the coronavirus and everything else, uh, the half shit uh, pats are um, coming once a fortnight. So obviously we're going to be a fortnight behind and with Pats and pretty much all you guys and girls out there that's doing the Root Master, you're probably in the same boat as what we are uh, waiting for Pats. So obviously we thought, well, we'll tuck in a, a hobby show for this week and um, we'll see how far we go. We'll show you uh, guys that we're not all about Root Masters, even though uh, there's obviously one behind me. And um, we're not all about rope masters, and um, we're uh, you know a little bit more than that. Um, obviously, our wives and girlfriends are into various hobbies as well, and um, you know obviously we need to think about uh, them them hobbies too. Uh, we want to include them as much as possible. Um, I've got a wife that's uh, not willing to come on camera tonight, but she has given me some things to look at. So we'll have a look at the, a few of them bits in a in a short while. Right, Adrian. Well, I'm going to actually say, uh, I was actually going to do um, the hobby show tomorrow. Oh, okay. I was going to do four issues of this one. Yeah. Well, I was thinking you could show people what's coming up tomorrow, can't you, if you know what I mean? Uh, just give them an idea of yeah. what what's about this Ferrari bill because it does look oh. interesting that's issue one right. so yeah. can I grab one of the other issues well we'll see a bit more later on Adrian. we'll try and do a bit more we'll give you a segment yeah. you can show them all off and that but uh, that just gives you an idea of what's there and podcast tonight Stephen, hello, sir. Oh, hiya. 
I have. Uh, thank you for the invite. That's fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, you uh, now. <laughs> we'll put you on the spot. Tell us all about yourself, your hobbies, and what you like to do, and what you're doing currently. Okay, well, I know I was on Dave's um, Dave's stream yesterday, so some people might know what it is, what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm a bus driver. I've been a bus driver now for at least 28 years. Um, so I'm into buses sort of thing and other technical stuff. Um, so yeah, I collect the die cast buses. I've obviously got the Route Master. Um, I'm into some of the, I'm doing some kits at the moment and I collect local memorabilia for me, local bus companies and stuff for my man cave eventually. Um, so yeah, so I'm just, if anybody wants to ask me any questions and stuff like that, I'll show a few few more bits and pieces. Um, obviously when, it, when we get ready, but yeah, so it's uh, as you said, I've got myself a camera and a microphone, and it's like this is the second time now, so yeah, uh, that's it. You know, we've got right, you know, as I was <laughs> talking to you, uh, Fleetwood, I would never, never thought of doing this. No, no, it, you know, I mean, this is what I'm saying, I'm trying to encourage people to come on, you know, yes, it's a bit scary, and a bit nervous. And, you know, you do get a bit of a stage fright when you first do it, but once you break that initial duct and five minutes, then it's fine. What we tend to see before we go live is we have the back room and we normally mm. break them in gently and that way then by the time the show starts there, uh, they're fine, if you know what I mean. So yes. um, yeah. Yeah. that's all I'm saying. If you want to come on, the email address is flashing along the bottom of the screen. If you've got a mic and a camera and a decent laptop, a decent internet, you know what I mean? But come and join us, you know. Alex Demetrius has, Dave Milne, Stephen Owen, Mark's Mods. He was a guest originally and then became a full-time member of the crew. So, you know, when the hobby show kicks in fully after the Root Master, we want as many people to come on, show off what you got and all that lot. So, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So, um, so... Who wants to show off their thing first, eh? <laughs> well, I'll, if you don't, if you don't mind, I'll go first. Okay. And, uh, I'll show one for the ladies um, yeah. because obviously uh, we've got to look after our fair ladies, and um, they are entitled to hobbies as much as what us fellas are. And it's not all about mechanicals and buses and all that sort of thing. So let's have a look at something completely different. Uh, that my my wife is into, uh, Julie's into, and I do believe Sean's going to be into to it soon as well. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I do believe Penny's into this uh, sort of yeah. thing. But let's let's have a look, shall we? Yeah. And uh, hey, well, sorry, Dave, for biting in. Julie has got a lot to answer for. <laughs> um, yeah. If you please, please do tune in to Julie's channel, the Yorkshire Crafter. I mean, she does wonders with diamond painting. She, I mean, even I'm looking at them today. I was looking at a couple online, and there's a couple I like, and I'm thinking, do I dare give it a go? Do you know what I mean? It's but they do look really nice, and once they're done, they look even more amazing. Look at that. I mean, look at the details on that. That's amazing. Do you know what I mean? So, well, um, this this is called uh, Red Poppies, and it's um, it's actually um, twenty inches by sixteen inches and um it's all it's all diamonds it's all plastic diamonds that's been stuck on into place and you can see it's shining um maybe if i lifted it up slightly you could see it probably shining uh, a little bit glinting and um this is um all done all these little tiny widgets are all put on individually with uh with a, a little dabber uh, yeah. So this was one that Christine obviously did. Um, took her about three weeks, I think, all in. Uh, but she wasn't at it all the time. So about two and a half weeks, I think it was, all, all in. Uh, but how lovely is that? I mean, it's absolutely massive, isn't it? I mean, I've got a, quite a big big hand. Yeah. So, yeah, it's absolutely massive. Is that one, Dave? That one's not a full one, is it? Or is it? Um. I'm not sure where where it says actually. I think I think it's um, a part. But one, yeah, the background is already printed on that one, isn't it? The, the, the background's already pin, printed on. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I think they call that. I'm just trying to learn the technology for this diamond paint. I think they call I think that it's a part, part drill. Yeah. 
Yeah, part so, one, yeah. But, but um, yeah, it's uh, rather really nice. And obviously, it'll look nice in the frame. And then yeah. she did, and then she did uh, this one. And this one's absolutely wonderful. It might even be too big to go on the camera. Yeah. Um, but this one, this one is um, 32 and a half by 10 and a half so, uh, inches. And again, it's, well, most all the leaves are all done. All the petals are all done. Uh, it's just the outer background that isn't done. So that could be a, it could be a full drill or a pat drill. I'm not sure. No, yeah, I don't. Probably. It's where we need the girlies on to tell us, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But uh, yeah. that's, that's three three rows heads in a row and uh, a couple of buds here, there and everywhere. And, wow, it looks absolutely superb. So, again, took her about two and a half to three weeks. Um, and there's lots of patience involved in that, obviously, and all the different separate colours you know, from white um, and all the different pinks. There's about oh, 10 or 12 pinks in there in, in all this lot. So, yeah. And then the light green and the dark green on the leaves and the yellows. So um, there's so many colours in there. It's wonderful. Yeah. So that's um, that's a couple of bits from, obviously, the ladies. Um, and, you know, they're not that expensive to buy, really. Probably a kit like that would be about 20, 25 pounds maybe. And, um, you know, you can find them at the range and you can find them at uh, Hobbycraft and places like that. And on the internet, of course. You can find them on eBay. You can find them on AliExpress or uh, or, or on uh, various other internet sites. So diamond painting. And um, this is called uh, Roses de Jardine. Yeah, done. Um, yeah. yeah, and uh, it's a it's actually a double diamond one, and uh, they usually tend to be the best. You get um you get obviously a uh uh like a, a an in, in inventory with it with all the numbers and all your uh, yeah. colours, and uh, obviously under there it's like painting by numbers. You put the different. Uh, drills on the different numbered um, holes that you you pop them into. So yeah, um, guess who's got to frame them now and got to find somewhere to put them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm an art gallery yeah. by the time Julie's finished with Christine. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think we will have an art gallery. Yeah. So obviously, um, Julie um, Yorkshire Crafter, she's into this, and then uh, my Christine, she's into this. And then um, Sean's going to be into this as well, and paint with pennies into this too. Yeah. So, and I do believe there's Chris Camplin. Chris Camplin's into this. Yes. He's done, yes. A, lovely, he's done a lovely leopard. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And um, he's done several other things, and he's on with another one now. So, um, yeah, Chris Camplin, if you if you're not um, connected to his channel, please join it, and please join Yorkshire Crafters channel as well. And um, and then obviously keep watching on here for more updates on Christine's um, diamond painting. Yeah, as I say, they are quite cheap to buy. You you look around, you can get them as little as a five or upwards, if you know what I mean. The only thing that's probably going to cost you a bit more if you want to start buying light pads to put underneath to help you, um, different pens that to help you put the drills on. Yeah, you know, all that type of thing can be done. You know, in time and progress, when you, when you get used to it and get comfortable. So you know, um, hopefully next time we have the hobby show, we'll have Julie on. Hopefully, and she can explain it a lot more because her yeah. word, words of wisdom about this is, you know, yeah. she, she she's the one that's instigating the uh, diamond painting revolution amongst our girlies. If you know what I mean, so. Um, yeah. I mean, if you just want to go back to the rest of you a minute, I'll I'll set up another thing that you can have a look at, and then uh, we'll move on to yeah. somebody else. Yep. Right. Okay. Well, I'll go quickly through the comments while you're sitting up there, if you know what I mean. So, okay. um, can't remember where I was now, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, Dave Bassett said, yes, you enjoyed our walk today. Dave Bassett says, remember, bob it on. 
Dave save, you know what I mean? Um, Steve Hyson, hi everyone. Dave Milne, hi, hi all. Dave Bassett says, I'm not a Ferrari fan, but haven't watching World of Wayne. Ferrari F40, I must admit, it looks really good, Adrian. Um, Dave Bassett says, evening, good evening, Stan. I mean, Steve O. Yeah. <laughs> Love me, says, hi all. Dave Milne says, look lovely. Dave Bassett, wow, well done, Christine. P40, actually, said, smashing. Steve O says, thanks, uh, Dave Bassett. Uh, Dave Milne says, something nice to go on the wall um get a panoramic frame for that yeah that's what i'm saying that these are these diamond paintings um they are really nice i mean the one i got sean to start with is a um it's a tatty teddy one so um we was having a look at it today i bought her a light pad and some new pen and that and we're looking at it. it's got 20 20 dr colored drills and as like dave said you have symbols on the picture and it's like paint by number you just look at the symbol and uh, say it's like an x then you look on the key by the side and the x will say it's color 327 and it might be light blue or pink and then all you do is just get your drills into a little tray and then your pen which has wax on the end and you uh, just dip your your pen in the drills and you just put them on this uh, on the backing basically the picture's printed but the actual surface is sticky and you have a cover to go over that so what i said to sean is we're going to dot paint with penny's idea is cut a square out at a time do that square and then cut another square out do that square and then that way then we're not ruining the rest of the uh the backing and getting stuff stuck to the uh the picture itself if you know what i mean so yeah but yeah, yeah. i mean they're good fun they do look nice as i said i look at a couple today i looked at a nice volkswagen camper van looked really quite cool um i thought do i have the patience to sit there and do it i don't know do you know what I mean? if it was cheap enough i might buy it and have a laugh you know i mean if chris yeah, Camper yeah. can do it then everyone can do it do you know what i mean so you yeah, know yeah well says that if you're um you know suspicious about anything then you know obviously be careful out there because obviously um he, he, none of you know this but chris is very suspicious about beds so anything that's got beds on and she's really um really suspicious about that she has been for many many years and uh so it all strikes back to her to her dad like so um so obviously you know be mindful of that if you if you're going to buy somebody something ask them if they're you know they're okay with all sorts of subjects and you know go go from there um but yeah um there's millions of subjects out there houses and flowers and uh goodness knows what and you can even make your own ones up as well can't you, you can yeah yeah take a custom one as well yeah yeah custom one you can take a photograph of whatever you like you can have that sent to a program either on the computer or sent away somewhere and then you can have that printed onto diamond painting and it'll give you the drills and everything else um and and the colors and all the rest of it so which is really rather good yeah i think but, penny's doing a custom one at the minute isn't she um, yeah i'll go into too much detail because obviously that's penny, yes. but i think it yeah. is a or was it a wedding photo isn't it or something i think and, so, yeah. um, it's got i think it's either six or eight panels i can't remember but the yeah. amount of drills that penny's buying for this i mean it's going to look stunning once it's done but um thousands yeah. and thousands, don't they, of, of little drills that's going on it so yeah so uh, are you ready for my second half yeah go on then okay so um obviously um uh, my second half and i think some of you have seen this before is that i'm actually going to be building um a scratch bill i'm going to be building one of these um hopefully you can see that all right so, yeah that's the, so that's a 1927 leyland lion and um it's obviously got a leyland bodywork and um it's from the 1920s and i'm going to be scratch building one of them in actual fact um there's the body so um it's all made out of wood uh it's all uh, one at uh, one twelve scale so obviously i can't 
fit it into the camera as best as I'd like to. Um, but there we are, there's the inside, the outside, and um, and the cab area. It's in its infancy at the moment, um, but you can tell what it is. Um, hopefully you can tell what it is. So if I bring that magazine across, so it might look something like that, I suppose. It's getting there anyway. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's all it's all made out of okay. wood. Um, some of it's hardwood, some of it's balsa wood. And I've no plans to wear it from, uh, just photographs. So and I've got most of the body work on, uh, and you can see that the body work is floated down there. So and if I bring that all the way along, I've got the back end done as well. So there's the back end and um it's all fluted is that body work and all shaped in you can see that if you look down the side of there um can't get the camera angle right so um, but you can see that it's floating down is the body so um that's the body work done and then for the axles they're just going to be simple axles um made from tamia uh wheels and tires now tamia wheels and tires are 114 scale it's the um actually the only nearest scale i could get to 112 scale uh but look at the wheels they're um these wheels are you know modern type wheels and i obviously want old type wheels so in actual fact they don't really do any justice to it at all so this is just going to be a simple axle because uh, obviously it's just going to be a stand standalone model it's not going to be remote control or anything the tires have got nice detail um but the wheels they are wrong and um so i decided to have a go at looking at the front wheels of a Leyland Lion and trying to make out of some Tamiya wheels some front wheels of a Leyland Lion again not very easy um, but if I put on here bring, bring that picture up you can see maybe the front wheel oh yeah and um, the front wheel has holes in it like them so I just simply drilled holes uh, at a, an angle and then marked it round and said well maybe i can uh, cut that off and then put a, a hub cap on and it might look a bit more like a leyland lion front wheel so that was that and then uh obviously the route master came along and i thought oh now i could probably use them wheels and um so thinking about it these are obviously cast better um they're obviously uh, more detailed but uh, what i'm building is obviously not an aec so it wouldn't want the dish on and it won't want the aec badge on it would want something more leyland dish so anyway um that's a 114 scale and that's a 112 scale and um there's not a lot of difference there really in size is they not really no, not really, no. so anyway uh, uh, you know they're not that far out on scale or size and um i think i'm going to call that it um because i think you've seen this before and um I, there will be no progress done on this until until i get the uh, root masters finished uh, because there's a lot of work to do on the root masters but i've got all the wood to finish this and i've got um the some more paneling uh, to buy and um but i've got all the wood to finish it it's going to have a wood uh, roof because uh, obviously it has a wooden shaped roof and um that'll be all strips that go from front to back of the bus so hopefully um that's going to be okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing that I've done it, you know what I mean? So, can't wait for that to be completed, but it'll be a little while yet, too, you know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, quite a while, yeah, uh, quite a while, but um, something interesting to see, no doubt. So, uh, yeah. that was one, just another sideline hobby that I got into. Um, 
I will be um, building model airplanes, uh, remote control ones, but not flying them. I'll just be building them for static display. Um, I might want to run the engines on them, so I'll have to have them anchored down a little bit. Um, but that's about it, really. Um, so in my hobby repertoire, there will be root masters. There will be this Leyland Lion. There will be three, possibly three, um, uh, remote control aeroplanes. There will be the Spitfire, the Harshet Spitfire. And um, as far as hobbies goes, uh, there'll be family history, uh, which we've been on with for many years. And I think that's about it. Oh, my engines, of course, my engines. Yeah. Uh, we can't engine. get your engines, Dave. <laughs> so, um, and I don't think I can fit anything else into my hobby repertoire. No. And you can start with all the YouTube uh, shows as well. Yeah. That's and good. Uh, and all the YouTube things as well. So obviously, um, obviously, there's you know bags and bags of time yeah, taken up. Oh, you've built it with Dave now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Right. So yeah. So that's really interesting. So so that's me. You know, this is another sign of Dave. You know, you watch his channel. Um, brilliant information on the engines. I could sit there all day listening to the M engines power away, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, it's really good. And then obviously scratch built models, you know what I mean? I mean, it's amazing how you can decipher something from a picture and then make it reality, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's certainly not very easy. Certainly not because no, no, obviously you've got to get how the windows look proportionally, the yeah. wheels, like you say, try and find yeah. one 12 scale wheels at a time. Yeah, you, know, you have to you have to use your ingenuity to think of how to get around these little problems, if you know what I mean. And that's yeah, yeah. yeah. That's nice. So, right, well, so right, who, Stephen? Do you want to show off your models? Yeah, I can start. <laughs> and then I'll go back to Adrian. You can then show us the Ferrari build he wants to do tomorrow. So here's Stephen. Right. So. Going over stuff before this for people who have not seen me before. Um, I collect the uh, Boris Masters, the Corby yeah. ones. So this is this is the one. The white balance is not very good. Um, this is the one that was done specially for the builders in Northern Ireland. All oh, right. Everybody got whoever whoever the people who built the vehicles all got presented with the model. And they all quickly ended up on eBay. So obviously, for people like ourselves, so that that they were they get pretty pricey. Um, then I've got the very first one they brought out, which was the mock up. It was in the London Transport Museum. Yeah, you, know, you can only get that one in um in a in like um sort of I think it's a trolley bus and a route master and this one. They don't yeah. have a separate one. So I've got various scales. They've got the tinies and the engage from Oxford, so I've, I've tended to sort of look after just once once type of bus because you can just go on forever and ever and ever. Um, things for the man cave, obviously we're into buses and to my local my local stuff. I don't know if you can see this, but this is actually a panel off the side of a bus. Wow! And it says the wow. county county borough of Wigan. Wow! Transfer wow. That can go on the wall. So I mean, I know people do different stuff, and it's got the old the crest of Wigan on. Yeah, that was the maroon paint of the vehicles of the time. Uh, that's for going on the wall. And another thing there, what goes on the wall? It's the information plate. Tells oh, you all. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah. What not to do? What to do? Um, it's more history than anything. Lost yeah. Property, uh, luggage. You know, standing passengers, you know, stuff like that it was a general yeah. thing on all, all the stir cases of the buses. Yeah, of the yeah. time, yeah, you can obviously see the, the, the borough arms as well, and how, how these obviously kids' furs and stuff like that. And it, you know, it's again, it's it's all PC as well because it's all when you read it, it's like, oh my god. <laughs> Kids will not be seen, and you know, 
they must stand up for everybody else, you know, and all that. Yeah. I, I work for Transport for Greater Manchester, and when people retire, sometimes they get a bus stop made. Yeah. So I thought, well, I want a bus stop. So there may be a bus stop. Ah. Uh, text me for the next one. Yeah. Well. See the room number, <laughs> which is well. my. And then you turn it round the other way, and it says. Right. Wow. Uh, it's like. They, so they, they, I thought, go on, make me a bus stop. So that was like, you know, they usually give them to people who retire. Yeah. They've, they've changed bus stops now. That's, that's all different and changed. So they're little things to go on the wall, you know, the sort of mementos. And then I'm doing a, a resin kit at the moment, which is, if you can see, this is the interior at the moment, which I'm trying to do. Yeah. The passengers, yeah. Are on, driver, ticket machine. Um, just the basics, really. It's, you can see the clipper card machine there where they put used to put the little ticket into, you know, 10 trips. Yeah. It's just the basics because you, you can't you can't really do much on interiors. No. So that, that's the resin. That's a, like a, an O-gauge it is, which is here. And I've been doing a little bit more on it at the moment. So, obviously, I don't know if you can put the oh, light wow. now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. The... They are. So that's Beautiful the main name of national. <laughs> national. Yeah. And then if you turn it around the other side, um, it's got the bright lights. Yeah. On. Cool. That so is this, this, this it's getting quite involved now. There's the with all the windows are individually done. You have to take the windows out. Um, individual paint to put the silver on and stuff like that. So it can get really, really detail yeah. obviously put the floor in stuff like that i'm yeah. even thinking about doing a bit of a diorama where i can plug these buses into the diorama so i'm not carrying a battery pack around all the time it just has yeah. one battery pack and then you just have various plugging points on the on the on the place yeah and i'm even thinking about having a smoke machine because obviously these leyland nationals if people know what they are <laughs> yeah uh, used to like flag out a lot of um smoke yeah, I was yeah, thinking about you know, under under mounted underneath the, the 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 display, and you can just drop the oil into the into the into the into the little stack, put yeah. the book on top of it, and then obviously there you go. You've got like a bit of um, a, a sort of smoking thing as well. So that, yeah. that's that's the thing I'm thinking of. And obviously I'll go to Disney Cam because I can't. I'm not picking the route master up. And then obviously people know. Yeah. Um. There she is. <laughs> Oh my! Yeah. Yeah, she is looking wow. out how lovely. With all its, with all the light, light up as well. The, the the base, which as I said, I, I put on the hobby show and I put on the Root Master show. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, so we all know. So that's that's how it, how I got into it. So, yeah. as you said, even got Fleetwood's uh, side side light mod there. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's claim to fame. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. And then, if you look at that now, and then you took my sightline mod out, wouldn't that be absolutely drawing you potty that it's not lit up? If you know what I mean. I think you know it would. I mean, it was. It was shouting once. It? it was really was. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, she got the one by the driver's cab, ain't you? And then the other side is like, oh, <laughs> you know why? You know, for a sake of a two pence bulb. Do you know what I mean? They could have done it quite easily. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm hoping if, if I ever do get a chance to do another one, I think I'll, I'll probably have black grills on the next one, and I think I would change all the bulbs and get – because I'm I'm noticing now my driver's side one's dimmer. Yeah. Mine was, was like that. Mine was the right mixed bag of lights. I had yeah. all sorts – looked like a Dolly's uh, – Dolly mix just there. And I just said, you know, so that's driving me loopy. So I ended up cutting all my bulbs off, and I ended up with putting all the same same batch bulb in all of them. So at least then it matched, if you know yeah. what I mean. Uh, and it's the, so I mean, now you know how it's built. I mean, I could I could probably paint the cab in the the, the interior of the cab is red. I should be it should be black, you know. So I could you can do things because you now know how it's built. Yeah. yeah. Time round, um, we can tackle different stuff, but yeah, yeah I've got the base as she says, the base, and it says, 
everybody's amazed about how the bases come out and how people can see the chassis and stuff like that. So, you yeah. know what I mean? It's, uh, I enjoy it. It's It's been a really good build. And it's like yeah. it's like, like a community as well. Yeah, yeah definitely. So it, it, you're sort of picking ideas from everybody and... Um, and getting ideas and throwing things around, and I'm even thinking about now as I was talking before doing a, a, a flasher mod to have the yeah. flasher on the front before the panel yeah. goes because it's yeah. um, once the panels go on, I won't be taking them off. I've already got one set of panels on, and I'm thinking, but should I do it now before um, mm. you go too far deep into it? Yeah, yeah. so you can um, thread the wires through, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, as you said. And the other thing what keeps me keeps me um going is I have a few do I have a few doggies. I don't know if you can see a few of them there all uh, uh, content content as well. Yeah, I've got there's a few there yeah, that are key to somewhere as well, a rescue dog. Oh so blimey. They keep me busy. Yeah, yeah. Do. Dogs are the best company, really. I miss my staffy badly and i'm a massive staffy fan everybody knows that i stick mm. up for them you know what i mean they do get a bad press you know yeah um, at the end of the day i don't think it's the dog it's the owners if you know what i mean so you know yeah, bad so owners so. make make bad dogs you know so yeah you know you've got more chance of actually being bitten alive by by another breed of dog than uh than a staffy do you know what i mean so yeah. um you know, staffies are very loyal, loving, and caring, and um, that's why they've been warded the nanny dog for many years because they mm. are nannies. They do look after everybody. You know mm. what I mean? So, yeah. But no, I mean your models are brilliant. I love the Layla National, and you're right. There, yeah, they were like smoke bombs out the back, especially on a cold start. On yeah, I think I, do, I think I do like about it is it because it's 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 O gauge. You know what I mean? It's 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 a big. It's tactile. Yeah. You can, I mean, obviously, there's the wires. I'm sort of, you can yeah. do it. It's only temporary sort of things, but um, doing the lights, putting a smoke machine, you know, yeah. putting passengers in. Um, it's a mod, it's, 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 well, they're not modern buses now, even though they were modern in the time. Uh, yeah. As you said, now they're, they're not, but as I said, I've driven these in service as well. So it's a bit of a, um, they're very ancient ones working at the ex Ribble ones and Northwestern Croswell ones, and virtually all over the country they came from. Uh, yeah. and they went, these you know, some of them were really good, good runners. Uh, but yeah, it's yeah. Like that clag, everybody yeah. knows that it's the like it's the Leyland flathead engine or something. Yeah, uh, it, it just poured out smoke. It was now it'd be like, oh no, you can't do things like that, but we, <laughs> yeah, but then that sort of thing around that time spawn the infamous pay, pacer train we got to this yep. day do you know what i mean so at the end of the day if we didn't have the lay in the national perhaps we would never had the the pain in the backside the pacer train but um you know yeah. they are the mo one of the most uncomfortable trains if if you live in the north west northern seems to have a fair crop of these uh paces and i know they're getting less and less now because yeah, they're getting yeah. more yeah. Yeah. But um, off to museums now, aren't they? So you can, uh, yeah, yeah. You can relive your nightmare. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they just had no suspension, and if if you hit a bad bad track, you could either get thrown around or you move <laughs> not very well on them. They're not the nicest trains to ride for a long distance, if you know what I mean. So, but yeah. but apparently they were only meant to be brought in for a stopgap, weren't they? Really, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I they were. Right. The only meant to be a temporary thing until another class of train came along, but everybody fell in love with them. I don't know why, but um, <laughs> uh, they stayed and stayed, if you know what I mean. So, but that's yeah. the joys of classics, isn't it? You know, what I mean, all classics are, are the best, if you know what I mean. You know, you get some, you get some howlers and you get some classics, so you think, Cool, wow, yes, you know. Well, so that I drive modern buses and they're all eco friendly. Uh, low floors, which obviously we have to now with the Disability yeah. Act, which is great. You know, that's that's the progress. But I do miss the old thrash of the, you know, the engine. When yeah. you hit up a hill, drop it into gear and let the clag do the talking. Yeah. You know, um, 
We used to have Leyland, Leyland National 2s and they had Gardner engines in them and they yeah. had a really throaty exhaust. So if you were very good, you set the car alarms off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I've heard that, you know what I mean? But you know, like now, where, where I am in Blackpool, uh, I mean, they're all now Enviro 400s, Enviro 200s, Mercedes uh, Citros, you know. So at the end of the day, it's quite a modern fleet now. They've got rid of all the old buses, well, most of the old buses, you know, like the Solos, the Optiers, some of the Dafts, the Athlons and whatever, you know what I mean? But there is, then again, we have got a preservation society up here, which is really nice. You know, we do see the old buses floating around, the PD3s, the AC, AC Swifts, uh, you know, and there's a whole host of buses, especially like on days, sadly, this year, Fleetwood uh, Tram Sunday, which is cancelled this year. You know, it's nice to see the old buses up there. You know, there's a few. Last year I went, there was a Dennis Plaxton and a few other other ones there. You know, I'm not very good on bus names. I might have got some wrong. But, you know, it's nice to see. And some of these older buses do have characters, you say. You can look at them and go, oh, that's a nice bus. And you can look at some of the modern buses and go, you <laughs> know. As you say, it's the standard we've got to have nowadays, isn't it? Yes, Low yeah. level, this, that, yeah, and the other. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I mean, we'd love to go back to driving the old ones, but then it's not environmentally friendly. They're not yeah. accessible to everybody. So, you know, it's a, it's a different era, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, the, yeah. and that's why I love being where I'm in Blackpool. You know, we've got a mixture of the old buses, the old trams, you know, the balloon trams go up and down the prom the century class trams um you know and we've got more to come back into into yeah, uh, circulation you know what i mean um we've got the stand of 147 coming back in soon that recently went out last year as a refit and then something really went wrong with it and it's back in the workshop to be reworked on um we've got the twin car one of the twin cars coming back i think soon yeah. uh one of the rail cars coming back as well so you know, it's getting bolstered um, by some really nice ones. It's just be nice now if we could have some of the illumination the ones back sorted out. I know I shared a video on my wall uh, on the therapy group of the Western train. That's just had a really big refit mm -hmm. paint job. It's just going to have new lights and that put on it for this year, which I think is going to look really sweet with that. be nice to see the rocket tram come up and on the uh on the mend again you know what i mean but it's, it's just a shame we've lost quite a few of the unusual ones there was a um steamboat um illuminate tram that's now sadly gone um there was a few gondolas in the 1950s you know what i mean so the hover, uh, hover tram the hover trams up up up, up um is it dave mills uh territory, yeah. territory somewhere yeah it's uh, so, up, up, up like Newcastle way is it they've got it I think so yeah um, but yeah we've got some nice illuminated trams coming we've got HMS we've got the frigate and we've got the uh, trawler you know and it's nice to see all them in the illuminations got down the problem you know what I mean so it's actually weird seeing it naked yeah you know, the, the video seeing the west the western train going out the out the sheds yeah because like, you, yeah. you don't see it without the lights much no. or that the wheels were missing and everything like that, weren't they? So you're like, what is it? What's going yeah. on here? And you have to sort of yeah. leave the cow catcher was missing at the front and stuff. So it's, uh, so it is interesting. It is nice. And that's what I love about being here. We've got a mixture of new and old. And yeah. it, it just breaks my heart at the moment to see Blackpool, to see Fleetwood, where I am so closed up and so shut down. You know, and I think to myself, this time of the year, blooming hell, we'll be throbbing along the prom, you know. Yeah about six, 60 deep and can't move, you know what I mean? And it'd be busy. You know, I've seen videos of Coral Island at the moment all boarded up, all the amusement shut, sea life and like that. And it just looks so sad. It looks like a, a apocalyptic town at the moment. And, um, yeah. you know, but hopefully we can bounce back. And, you know, we've got new things coming. We've got a new theme park coming. We've got a conference center coming. New mm. Premier Inn opening up. Um, and obviously, Valhalla at the Pleasure Beach has been done over and made up for another year. So, you know, we've got things to come in Blackpool, and I think it's up and coming. And, I mean, 
if you I don't know if anyone's seen the videos on YouTube at the moment, if you check them out, just look type in Clear Blue Sea at Blackpool. I mean, yeah. at the moment, it is truly amazing. It looks like the Mediterranean, you know, it's bluer yeah. than blue, you know. Normally yeah. it's it's like a grotty, not brown, I won't say that, but it's normally quite discoloured with all the pollution that's going in the sea and everything else and it gets washed up in Blackpool, but it's, yeah, it's really nice, you know, to see that. And the work is carrying on, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've got Blackpool Museum opening up, hopefully, maybe next year. All being well, you know, that's going to have um, a lot of the Blackpool history of the comedy, the bits and pieces. We're going to have suits from uh, Morecambe and Wise and, you know, Charlie Crowley, the cr clown in, um, in the Blackpool Circus. You know, so there's got a lot of things coming, you know, and it's that's and that's why I think makes Blackpool unique and different, you know. Yeah, you know, everyone calls it a Marmite town, you either love it or you hate it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> so right, let's get to have a look at Adrian and let him have a preview of his Ferrari, which he's doing tomorrow. What time are you on tomorrow, Adrian? One thirty. One thirty. So tune to Adrian at one thirty tomorrow. And uh, you'll see the Ferrari being built. Well, that's issue one. Got a bit to do on that one there. Issue two is just pretty, pretty simple. Just put oh, some nice parts that. in the seat. Cool. Wow. Is that going to be one eighth scale? I I think so. I have to double check on the size. I think it's one eight scale. Of most of the models. That's, that's issue three. Cool. The tire looks big on there, doesn't it? Yes. And is the uh, in inner wheel of the tire, and that's oh, metal. Yeah. Blimey! Oh, yeah. Yes, one eighth. Girl. So, what are you doing tomorrow? Is it issues one to four? Did you say? Yes. That'd be a lot of fun. So, I know people have probably seen World of Wayne and a few others doing it, but uh, you know, make sure you tune in one thirty tomorrow and check out Adrian. You know, do his one, his one to four, and support him as well. So, yeah, I mean, it does look a nice car. I mean, the Ferrari F40, you know, there is the other one that's on the internet, the, what's it, the, the Ferrari, isn't it? The 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 ultimate Ferrari, isn't it? That's on the net at the moment as well. Between yeah. them, they all do look really nice yeah. uh, supercars. That's not the only build you're doing though, Adrian, is it? No, I'm, well, I'm doing, on my own personal channel, I'm doing the Spitfire and I'm doing the Terminator a T seventy two tank, yeah. Which I build. I do the tank every roughly every four weeks on a Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. So that'd be good. Yeah, the tank's really nice as well. It's unusual as well. If you know what I mean. So yeah, not many people are doing the tanks. Yeah. So. Well, it's going to be remote control no. as well. Yes, it is. So. I have, I'm actually sitting on every issue for the tank. Right. So you can do it from complete begin, uh, start to beginning, can't you? Yes, I've been at the part which we're doing, doing at the moment. I have no hold-ups on that. Well, did you have some problems with the tank now, didn't you? Yes, and I've had the replacement parts for them. Yeah. Ah, good. That's good. So... Yeah, so don't forget to join Adrian. You know what I mean? I mean, Adrian's a fantastic guy of ours. He does all the back stuff for us, all the instructions and everything else, and uh, tells us if we're doing something wrong and everything else, so which is good, really. Keeps us all in check, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah. 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 Yeah, well, I, I, st I started helping him. Well, 
well, Penny used to like go to work, get the magazine, run home at lunchtime, scan the magazine. For taking her running home and basically uh, taking her half an hour, basically, you know, her yeah. lunchtime. Yeah. But, well, I could do that. Yeah. For you. So I basically got involved with the root master doing that way. Yeah. Because I used to watch her. So. Yeah. And we're indebted for that because in the day, if it wasn't for Adrian and the way he scans them in and cuts them up and presents them really nicely for us to see, you to see, no, uh, we will be stuck if you know what I mean, especially yeah. a couple of times, you know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, yeah, so big hats off and thanks to Adrian for that. For yeah. Moment, so, yeah. You know, it's, it's like I say, Adrian is also a fantastic builder, so don't forget to tune in and make sure you check out all his builds and that, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's like with Dave, you know, make sure you check out his, and uh, I'm sure Stephen will come on again and show us more progress of his bits and pieces and that. So, yeah. yeah. You know, I think uh, we've got a, quite a merry mob of guests, you know, amongst Alex Demetrius and, uh, Dave Welchy Welch, you know, he's on as well. So, you know, we're getting a good good mix of everybody at the moment, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. right, my turn. <laughs> well, okay. I, keep, I know I keep banging on about these, um, these Kiwi crates, these Eureka crates that I've got. Um, I've now got a fair selection down here. Well, I haven't done some for a few months, so I've got <laughs> now to do. Um they keep breeding behind my back. I keep appearing, and there's another one behind me. So um, um, these are subscription boxes. Um, they're available every month. Um, they cost around uh, about 30 quid, I think. Well, 25 quid, I think it is, including yeah. most. They come from America. It is literally a one-box engineering project. Each one's different. Um, each month, you can't tell what it is until it's shipped. Um, I've got a pinball machine down there. I've got an articulated desk lamp. Uh, the one I'm going to have a try and show you is the perpetual calendar. For those who've seen my channel, you know I've done the lot box live, uh, the ukulele, and the coin sorter. And there should be another one which I haven't got on my channel. Um, I've lost the footage, sadly, which was the desk. Uh, wow. So, um, which is a bit of a pain, really. I sat there for hours trying to put that together and then lost the footage. So, um, what I'll do is I'm just going to change my camera. Okay. Uh, while, you're, while you're doing that, I'll just uh, say what David Bassett has said. And that's uh, it's Penny Blake's birthday today. So, please, can we give her a massive shout out uh, with it being her birthday? So, happy birthday, yeah. Penny. Yeah. Happy birthday for all of us as well. Yeah. Happy birthday. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So, right. This is how they come in a box like this. Um, and each one, they all come with, tell us what's inside the box, basically. We've got 54 pieces, 15 frame, plastic frames, two plastic spaces, plastic shelf, seven small O rings, two large O rings, two large, uh, two square dowels, four stick sheets. Five, uh, sorry, three plastic pins, two paper number sheets, um, three zip ties, sticky foam sheet, and uh, four foam sticky donuts. You know, and plus the maker's guide. Um, these. <sighs> this is the instructions it comes with. These are very simple instructions to follow. Um, basically, in here you get what's in the booklet. And it tells you about the project that you are building going forward. This is all the parts are in the box. You don't need glue. You don't need anything. Sometimes you might need a screwdriver, but that's normally supplied as well. So, you know, it's quite easy to follow. Build stats, it says, gears, tires, uh, tiles, wheels, and axles, key components, skills, wood assembly, sorting, and sequencing. Complexity a medium, about an hour and a half. Depends. You can build them quicker. Depends how confident you actually are. Um, and basically, the first part is you build the number tumbler, and then obviously you build the frame. 
frames there and add bits and pieces and then you add all the tiles in the norm in the uh, stackers there and then you go through various parts and pieces until you have a completed stage a bit like following the route master instructions really and then yeah. next one we build like the day tumbler again you know self-explanatory on bits and pieces what you have to do um, and so you know, go through step by step and then you know go through bits and pieces like that, adding more parts and then the next part is like a month one so it's very similar to like the first one and then all you do is you connect the tumblers and start adding the units together and then you can see there's a bit more steps they eventually end up with like a unit like that one there which is a complete set and then it tells you how the actual unit works how to you know how to set a date how to keep track of your days and then um, don't forget to zip tie parts of it because to hold it together and if you've got problems they'll tell you how to fix your problems um and then this is a bit more behind the scenes of how they came up with the plan and how this model's made they tested 23 uh, prototypes um, they tried three different drive mechanisms to the dates and they used six types of material and it took them uh three months to design this from start to finish um which is quite good really um and then tells you about the geneva dive which is what's used in the mechanism to set the dates and that and it gives you the history of perpetual calendars yeah and then calendars gone wrong then there's oh. different ones about different calendars gone wrong and then creative calendar basically you can make start modifying your own calendar there yeah and, uh, that's it really you know what i mean so it's sort of like self-explanatory just like having the root master instructions from you know bits and pieces obviously i won't build it all tonight but i'll perhaps do uh so yeah I'll perhaps do part a and see how we get on if yeah. you know what I mean. so yeah all right let's have a look for the uh parts and see what we've got you know what I mean? so we've got various zip size plastic parts o-rings and pins these are looks like the frames to put the the dates in and that so then we've got various wood pieces here they they, they look like what we put the dates on um themselves so i've got gearing here and the drive part as well so yeah, it looks like we've got some uh, dates and days and yeah, sticky pads and all that lot so this is how they all come you know all nicely neatly packed and then the last bit is all this uh piece of wood in here for various parts of it and they are not cheap bits of wood they are good quality thick pieces of wood they're not flimsy so you know they're not gonna break easy if you know what i mean so um, is it, plywood, Jason? it is plywood yes yeah. and i think these are sustainable you know they come from a good you know they just don't chop down the amazon forest for <laughs> yeah you know i think they come from renewable that's the word i was trying to look for yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I'm just trying to find see we've got all sorts in this pack these are the dates here so cool so I think we need the blue ones first and we've got to try and lay them out as they've got them here so so we look so we've got 
This is the fun part now. You've got to try and sort all these out. <laughs> you know, it's like a game of uh, try and find the uh, the relevant ones, if you know what I mean. So, 157. I did see it at 7 earlier. 7. You know what I mean? Uh, 9. Nine twenty four, and then we got level twenty six. We need a bigger desk here, I think. <laughs> um, let's try and find all numbers now. Thirteen. This was. This is a bit that probably takes a bit of time is just sorting all of these out so you know which way round they go. Yeah. Uh, 17. Nineteen. Nineteen four, twenty one, nine, twenty three, eight, twenty five, twenty seven, and twenty nine. So that's them sort of laid out. Now the next part is after us get these these effectively like wood wood blanks. And basically, what it's telling us to do is you get the first one and fold it round. Basically, so you got one, one and sixteen like that, and then then we have to get a frame. Pitch frame. And uh, and then we clip it in like that. There we are. So you've got one that side and 16 that side. So that's what we've got to do for the rest of these. Yeah, you know, these these Eureka boxes are designed for uh, people fourteen and up. They do younger ones for younger people. Um, there's various ones on there. I will leave a uh, link um, to the to a code that I've got. If you would like one of these for yourself, or if you know any any children, or your children wants to have a go at one of these. Um, they are good fun. Um, they are, can be a little bit pricey, but at the end of the day, I think it's well worth the money because they are good, strong projects. And, and um, you seem to have a bit of fun with these. Like I said, I built a ukulele with one of these, and, um, and uh, that was a good laugh. I think the first one I did was actually the um, was the uh, lot box, and I did that live, and um, that was quite scary doing that one live. Never done one of these before, <laughs> so um, but yeah, you know, yes, some of the steps are a bit repetitive, but. Um, once you've done them, you've done them.
That's, certainly there's a lot of parts in there, aren't they? Yeah, there is. <laughs> there's quite a few. Especially in a calendar, you've got 30 odd days of a month, if you know what I mean. Obviously, you're going to get 15 because obviously it's, um, you know, they're double sided, in, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But once you get the hang of it, you can actually start speeding up and, um, you know, doing these quite easy, if you know what I mean. So, so what would you do, Jason? Do you just build that in a day or would you just do it over a couple of days? Well, whatever you feel like, you know, I mean, they say it takes about an hour and a half to do this. I mean, if you sat down and did this in one go, you could do. But if you're just trying to do a boredom breaker, then, you know, just do... Do a, do a step a day, you know what I mean? I think there's about five or six steps in here. So at the end of the day, you can do it over a week, you know. There's no rush, you know what I mean? You don't get points for getting it done quick enough, you know what I mean? It's just how you feel about it and just slow and steady. As long as you read the instructions and make sure that you uh, follow things, then you should be okay. Mm. So there's all the uh, cards there. So the next step, which is this one, is basically telling me I need to find quite a bit in here. One, two of them. And looks like one of them. And basically these all sort of slot together, so they're quite easy to go together um over so. so that just sort of slots together like that so you end up in the cradle right next step right so i need the sounds i need one of these parts and the foam part. So we're left with what we've got there as a little hole in the middle. And then basically it's just telling me that that's going through there. Well, that, there now it's pretty solid now, if you know what I mean. So yeah, um, we've got to pull it over. And then the next part is, I didn't see it, amongst my bits and pieces. Yeah, you, you, know, you could take your time on these. You know, there's no rush. Obviously, I'm rushing a little bit just to you know, maybe, you know, bore you too much. But um, this is the next piece. This piece of plastic looks like that, and that basically sits in the groove in the middle there. Um, then we've got to get. These two parts, which are bow, top and bottom, and they just sit in there. Like that. And then we've got to have tiles. Good, this is. So we've got, it says, make sure we've got one, three, five seven gotta make sure these all lined up one five seven nine eleven thirteen and fifteen like that and they yeah. go in 
quite sure going around the wrong way. Sorry, let's see. So we've got one, three, five. Seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, and fifteen, like that. And then the other side, we should have showing. We've got twenty nine, twenty seven, twenty five, twenty three. 21, 19, and then 17. So that looks like like that. So, and then next stage, we've got is basically we've got to put just to put the, the top on. Ah, clips are all together. Yeah, clips all together basically, and then we've got to then find your bit of piece. We'll just one of these, and then one of these foam pads. And basically, that's what you've got to do is just follow it step by step, if you know what I mean. And yeah. And do it, do it that way, and um, check, stop and check to make sure it says number one there, number one there. Step thirteen, uh, slowly. Right, just check. Right, yeah. So yeah, basically you've got to, these all got to flip around, and uh, just takes a bit of getting used to how how it flips, if you know what I mean. But yes, it does flip, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, uh, that's good. Pleased with that. So and then that's just basically. That's it. Step 14 is done. That's the, the first part. Do you know what I mean? So that's what I uh, like. You know what I mean? Yeah. I could carry on if you want me to, or shall I <laughs> quit? If you know what I mean? It's uh, entirely up to you, Jason. I don't mind. Um, you know what I mean? So, but there, yeah, that's basically step one of uh, these Eureka crates, if you know what I mean? So um, I'll yeah. do, another bit, do another step and then. Uh, We'll perhaps see how it goes from there. So this one, basically, I'm doing the day tumbler. Um, and uh, so these are parts that I'm going to need. Is So I put in this little bag here. Which is like... Mm -hmm. Which looks like all these little pieces here, and you know, next step we've got to do is put the days on, you know, like on these. So, yeah, yes, <clears throat> I'm just gonna run through the chat, Jason, because it's getting a yeah. bit. Uh, Hectic. So um I forgot where we got up to. I think I think we got up to um um P uh, sorry Dave Milne get a panoramic get a panoramic frame for that. That must have been the diamond painting. Um P Fox F20 says uh, looks like you're after a great start, Dave there. Um Dave Bassett says he's it, it's your Layla National, love that. So that must have been yours, Stephen. Yeah. So, and uh, Roger Thompson says, evening all. Roger Thompson says, looks brilliant, Steve. Um, 
Dave Mellon says it's the same with cars. Modern ones don't have character. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> um, no, God, they've got character in shows at 500. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, cute and cuddly, if you know what I mean. So, but yeah, yeah, you're right. Modern day cars are a bit, bit all much of the same nowadays, aren't they? If you know what I mean. So, uh, a bit bland out there, yeah. Yeah. So Dave Mellon says Durham has a festival, festival of light, which has vehicles lit up. Um, oh, yeah. Steve Owen says uh, thanks, Roger Thompson. And uh, Dave Bassett says, uh, I remember Isle of Man had an illuminated tram for the centenary of the Manx Electronic Electric Railway back in 1993. Oh, wow. But, uh, Dave Bassett says, uh, it's Penny's birthday and we did that. And we give Penny a massive shout out. And Love Minnie says, happy birthday, Penny. And Roger Thompson says, uh, just out of curiosity, Dave, would you find one of the makes of engines you have in a narrow boat? So, uh, no, uh, basically, is the short answer. Um, my engines are too small, um, really, to uh, power a narrow boat. Uh, generally speaking, a narrow boat engine would be a Lister or a Ruston or a Gardner or something of that, that make, usually two or three cylinders um, and usually diesel. So uh, my all my engines are petrol or petrol paraffin. Right. So I'll just start uh, right, just all these first lot in and now basically it's just telling me that these small parts. And looks like I'm gonna need two of these. Parts. Make sure the slots line up, and that. So, stage two. I've got to get looks like an elastic band. Basically, what we've got to do. It's like a. It's got to go through there like a hoop, so it locks in at the top there. Yeah. So. And then basically, <laughs> this is the fun part. Now I've got to do the same this side. <laughs> and hook it on. So basically, they look like not quite that one's locked in. So it look like we got two. Like yeah. That. And then I've got to use the short dowel. Which is this one? And basically, the short dowel looks like what well, looks like a wheel. And then basically, all I've got to do is put the first one in. One day, this should be probably going to need multiple hands. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I can see what's going to happen. Yeah, if you're not yeah. careful. King, if you know what I mean, and parts fly everywhere, but uh, they seem to be behaving itself. So at the moment, if you see flying bits in a minute, that's probably me in a minute, if you know what I mean. So, um, This is the tricky part now, lining all. Yeah. To put it in. Okay. They're falling out. <laughs> Thought they might. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. You know what I mean, it, it's a balance now. But, you know, everybody has their own way of doing these. And I was to say, it's just not a, a rush to get it done. And that so just take your time and uh, Sunday then you put Saturday and then Sunday it should be the other way around.
this is probably the trickiest part is lining all these up and make sure they all sort of sit in the frame if you know what i mean so yeah but there you are so excellent that's that if you know what i mean Perfect. so then you just then you just basically follow the instructions round and uh, you know look for um There and then step nine, got a big piece like that that sits there, uh, and then looks like you get one of them, and one of these little black washers to hold it in place. And gear piece and then so get two thick and thin oh my gosh. Right, thick one <sighs> Wrong in peace. I made mistakes. So this is what I'm saying. You just take your, you know, just try and follow the instructions. I am trying to rush slightly, so I am not reading the instructions. But um, yeah, you're all right. The only thing I would say I don't like about these Kiwi kits sometimes is these little black washers. They are not the world's best, if you know what I mean. I I had a run in with these with the um the coin sorter, if you know what I mean. So um Yeah. Yeah, they kept twang enough, didn't they? If I remember right. Yeah, that's it. And I've resorted in gluing all mine now. And if I keep this one there, so I'll probably do the same with this, if you know what I mean. So, um, let's check make sure that's okay. There we are. That's sort of like that. Uh huh. And then that's it really that's another stage done do you know what i mean and then obviously to strengthen this up there will be this sort of piece here that'll go uh -huh. in the front like that and then you carry on building building along like that and then um, yeah you make the actual model itself if you know what i mean so yeah 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 um, i'll just do it fish this so it's a bit, it's a bit tight and then we're not wobbling around a bit, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah. Basically, put turn that round. The one goes there. One there. One there. On there. And then basically we've got this round disc. So 
I'm just trying to find a piece here at the moment. Should be here. So I'm just trying to find a round piece at the moment, if you know what I mean. And, uh, Actually, a decal that I've got to find. I'm not too sure where it's got to, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll find it anyway. But that's basically, you know, just of what the Kiwi boxes are. I like, if you know what I mean. So, you know, yeah, yeah, um, brilliant. You know, it gives you an idea of what they like and you know the quality of them. Um, I've never had a problem with them, apart from, as I say, the coin sort of was probably the worst one out of the lot um, because it was just uh, these little rubber bands and they are fiddly as anything. They do like to have a ping <laughs> and go everywhere. So, um, yeah. you know, it's, but they're good fun, good laugh, and you know, I enjoy doing them. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I mean, what I'll do is I'll update the subscription uh, description below and I will put the Kiwi code in um, there if you want to have a look at these. Yeah, I think now you get 10% off um, or something like that for your first box and then uh, you can have a laugh going forward. You know, each yeah. project is different every month. So, you know, I've got the Renault 4 to do in a few weeks' time. So that uh, yeah, be on my channel. I think was it next week I'm doing it, or was it the week after? <laughs> can't uh, remember. Can't remember. <laughs> Adrian will tell us. He's a mind of information. This one is the walking. Uh, to be honest, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian, the TV times. He's always turning us who's on what and where. If you know what I mean. So. Um, Ah, that's good. I'll put him on the spot and he forgot, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, well, as I say, I hope you enjoyed tonight. Anyway, I mean, it's only a, it's just a hobby show to show you what we're like, what we all do, and everybody's different. Um, just a shame some of us couldn't be here tonight. Otherwise, we would have had a bit more and a bit longer show with other people joining us. But um, as I say, you know, I hope you enjoyed having Stephen on. I really enjoyed it. It's good fun, you know, learn about his job, especially the history of all the bus parts and panels and the bus stops and that, if you know what I mean. It's all quite unique and special, do you know what I mean? And it's not so yeah. every day. And no. that's one thing I love is also the history of certain things. And that's why I love Fleetwood as well, because there's a lot of history here. I mean, yeah. if you check out one of my last videos where I did a walk about, you know, about the pier, the train station, and you know fleetwood having three lighthouses and not a lot of people know that that we have got well two working and one sadly which is falling apart in the middle of the sea uh which we're trying to find out who actually owns it uh trinity house who owns all the lighthouse in the uk don't know nothing about it they're not owners of it wire council they don't own it uh the duchy of lancaster he says he don't own it. So the poor thing is uh, listing at a rather bad angle. It's all collapsing in the middle of the sea. And it was one of the very first screw pile lighthouses in the UK. And everybody here is just trying to save as much as we can before we have another yeah. bad storm. And it's, um, you know, it's, we lost it forever. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shame. That's why the local pub round here is called the three lights because obviously the three light houses we've got the lower lighthouse which is just near my house um then we've got farris lighthouse which is about two minutes away from me which is the really tall lighthouse in fleetwood and then obviously the screw pile one way out in the sea now if you know what i mean so yeah um, i will try and get a picture of that one day and put it on my channel it's quite hard um to take a photograph because it's quite out in the sea. What I will do is try and find some pictures on the Fleetwood site of what it looks like close up. People apparently you can walk out to it in a low tide, but I will want to. It's about, no. about two, three miles out to sea, if you know what I mean. To see, oh. 
you're, you're pretty stuffed, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah. So, but uh, I'll say, hope you enjoyed tonight. I'll say thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, join me next week. I, I think if I'm back on Sunday, I'll, I think I'm on Sunday. If not, it'll be the following Sunday anyway, about me Renault yeah. 4. Um, don't forget, join me next week for 114 of the Route Master, the Route Master Show back. Then I think we'll have 115, possibly 116, and then another hobby show. We'll have to play it by ear on how the issues are play, playing out at the moment. So yeah. I'd like to say a massive thanks to all my guys, Adrian, Dave, and Stephen, for joining You're me. Welcome. You're welcome. So, okay. No worries. You know, it's been a great show. Uh, enjoyed Steve Wigan. Yeah. The memorabilia on this Boris collection, yes. We all enjoyed that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So this is what the hobby show is about. Is if you've got something you want to show us, your bus collection, your your matchstick collection, your I don't know, your pen collection, you know, or whatever, you, you know. If you just want to bring a pet on, you know, if you've got two cats and you want to show us your cat or your dog or whatever, feel free, you know. We're all dog friendly and pet friendly around here. Yeah. Um, of course, it keeps sparkles safe and secure. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. oh, yeah. there's one. Look, there's yeah. oh, beautiful. This is Willow. Yeah. Willow. 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 Yeah. Willow. Yeah. Longer, longer. Chihuahua. He's, he's he was he was uh, pestering me before when you were building your box. He was a uh, he was uh, on my knee for a little bit. But yeah, he's he's one of my dogs. Oh, <laughs> <great. Yeah. laughs> Looks so content. Oh yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Well tampered. I was yeah. going to say he knows which side is bread's butter, doesn't he? If not me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, you know. I think you can tell proper pet owners by you know um, by the way they treat their dogs and their pets yeah. and whatever. I um, mean, yeah. I had an ex of mine, and she used to go absolutely ape shit to me for saying, "Well, no, I'm a daddy to my gypsy." You know what I mean? She goes, "How can you be a daddy?" You know what I mean? You're a human, you know, you don't give birth to a bloody dog. And I'm like, <laughs> she's not a dog. She's my daughter, thanks. You know what I mean? She's my yeah. little baby. I look after her. I protect her and she looks after me and protects me. And that that's, you know, it's a family bond. You know what I mean? They're part of your family. You know, how little Sparkles is and how much she's a diva. She's yeah. still part of mine and Sean's little family. You know what I mean? And she does drive us loopy. I mean, for Christmas, I got Dave uh, Willow, a teddy bear, and I think he enjoys that. Do you know what I mean? I think he needs it more now. What's yeah, yeah, what's gone on? You know, yeah. All I say is, you know, it's tough. You know what I mean? It's hard and it's sad. But anyway, I'll say I'll let Adrian say goodnight so in case I cut him off again, as I normally do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you forgot me in baseball. Yeah, I just I think, <laughs> I think Chris Day was uh mute himself. He came back in to invite him to say, say goodbye, and he missed me out. <laughs> <laughs> thank Roof you for having me, really. and thank you all who's been watching. And nice for the comments, yeah. Thank you all, yeah. So, right, Dave. Okay, well, thanks, uh, thanks for watching us and uh, thanks for commenting. And, um, you know, hope to see you all again very soon. Um, obviously, there's a few builds going off now. Um, Adrian tomorrow uh, at half past one tomorrow on Build with Adrian. And um, I think there's is there something tomorrow night on a Friday I'm thinking of? I'm, I'm a day ahead of myself. Yeah. So, yeah, it'll be Friday. So I'll be again. Uh, you're at it again, yeah. And uh, Saturday is free, is it not? Uh, we're having a private chat Zoom. Okay. About seven, yeah. uh, about seven o'clock. Um, um, I'll put the link on all our Facebook groups. Okay. Okay. I've just got. <laughs> I've just got something to show Jason. Um. So if you want to go full screen, Jason, on me. Oh wow! <laughs> wow, that he's is just put, He's just put the last one in. Oh, he's fantastic! Just, that, is, that is lovely. It's sparkly. He's been trying to rush yeah. to 
obviously show you guys. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Uh, yeah, beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. So she's um she's been trying to rush to get it sorted for you tonight. Oh bless. Thanks, so, <laughs> so yeah. she said you're all right, thank you. She said so yeah. yeah, so anyway, where was we? Um yeah, obviously check out all our channels. Uh, if you're not um joined to our channels, please join our channels. Please give uh, Jason and the Hubbard Show a nice good thumbs up tonight and um We'll see you all shortly. Right, I'll pass you over to Stephen to say goodnight. <laughs> all right, well, thank, for, thank, me all, thank you for me being on the show. Um, obviously, right. I hope we'll be seeing a lot more. Uh, thanks for the good comments as well, because uh, it's something you think, well, I have a hobby, but, you know, if other people's enjoying it, I've ticked the boxes, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm happy that's how... People's happy seeing what I'm doing. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, good night. And we'll uh, obviously you'll see me post on Facebook of my Root Master and other things. And, yeah, we'll see you again. Thank you. Good night. Right. Well, I'll say good night for me. Take care. Still be safe, even though summer is in lockdown. Summers are not in lockdown. And I think we're all getting confused. Wales, Scotland, and Ireland are totally different to us in England. So, Whatever it is, just be safe, secure, still look after yourself. Don't forget social distancing and everything else. And all I say is please, this weekend, don't go bombing your local beauty sites and seasides thinking it's all going to be open when it's not. Basically, at the moment, Blackpool's still closed. So, you know, don't come down the M50, M6 and M55 and expect Blackpool to be fully open. It's not. So, you know, just please at the moment adhere to the government things because the last thing we want is another huge great big spike and then we're all in back into merry lockdown mode again so you know yeah. i'll say good night for me big thank you to all and hope you enjoyed the hobby show the email address is down below drop us a comment of what you think what you like to see what you don't like to see if you want to be a guest on the show just drop a message on there um as long as you've got a mic and a laptop and the camera you know we'll put your mind at rest for doing it you know if stephen can come on alex can come on and then uh, dave welch welch can come on box mods came on you know if we all can do it then we can all do this we want to make the hobby show a success and without you we can't do it so in the day more people we get the more the better even if we end up with too many people we'll have to do a rotor system on how it works so i yeah. say Good night for me. Big thanks for me and stay safe. Look after yourself. I'll see you next week on the Root Master Show 114 on my channel, um, Fleetwood J. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to all our channels. And I'll see you next week. So take care, all, and bye for me. Take care. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye.